Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be super special because I'm back at it again with another reviewed video. Now the last reviewed video was the worst hotel in Dubai. You guys gave me a lot of support and feedback, so I appreciate that, thank you so much. But today, as you can see from the title, I'm reviewing the best reviewed resort. Not hotel, but resort in Dubai. I've already done my research and it's a 4.7 star rating out of 5 on Google. And on your screen right now, you can see a few screenshots as to what other people had to say on TripAdvisor. But I want to experience this for myself. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah, guys, if you're new, please give this video a like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. And yeah, guys, enjoy. All right, guys, so we are a couple of minutes away from the property. I am not revealing what the hotel or resort is yet and i'm just going to give you guys one clue and the first clue is that we are currently at the palm jumeirah in dubai so that's the only clue you're getting so far all right guys so revealing for the first time we are reviewing the w dubai in the palm So guys, I want to give you a few facts about this property. This property actually launched on the 1st of Feb this year. So it's a very fairly new resort. Number two, guys, it has over 350 rooms out of which 58 include suites. Impeccable. Number three, guys, this is the first W escape resort in the whole of Middle East. Not Dubai, not UAE, the whole of the Middle East. This property also has over six restaurants. Cuisines include Japanese, Korean, Italian, and even Latin American. So a variety of different cuisines and we're gonna be trying a few here and there. So keep following for that. And lastly, the property is built in such a way where you can see the views of Marina, Burj Khalifa, Burj Al Arab, of course, Atlantis, and many more. So guys, stay tuned for a fun vlog. All right guys, so right now we are currently in the lobby of W Dubai, but they don't call it the lobby, they call it the atrium. And I'm gonna explain just why. Let's start off with the chandeliers over here. As you can see, guys, the chandelier is a $1.6 million piece. I said dollars, not dirhams. The light changes according to the beat when the DJ comes and plays music. How mesmerizing is that? Take a look, this whole place is inspired by Dubai. This Dubai as a city, and I'll tell you why. Because on our right, the windows, the boxes are representing old Dubai. On our left, the gold monuments, they represent the skyscrapers of new Dubai. The carpet we're currently standing on, there's three elements. The blue, which represents the sea, the gold, which represents the skyline, reflections, and the white, which represents the clouds. How beautiful is that? All right, guys, so right now we're on the third floor. This is where our suite is located, and I'm absolutely mesmerized by the corridor. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go to our rooms. All right, guys, room number 312. Room number Oh my God. Wow, come in. This is impeccable. Jeez. Oh, wow. Take a look at the bed. Got a nice bed, comfortable couch. Wow, let's take a look at the view. Wow, this is crazy. Oh my God, guys, we've got a brilliant view. We've got a view of the Atlantis. I can't wait to see how it would look towards the night. We've got a view of the pool. The pool is absolutely stunning. We're gonna go grab a bite there very soon. And obviously the Burj Al Arab, as you can see on the far right, on the far right, we've got the Bridge Al Arab and obviously the beach. What a mesmerizing view, this is crazy. I just can't wait how it would look during like the sunset. Sunset blue hour, I think like the view is gonna look so much better. This is, this is mind blowing. All right guys, so I wanna share something very cool about this room with you guys. As you can see, the room, the interior, the design of it is based on two things. Number one, the waves on our left. So as you can see, like the curves, this wall is curvy. And then on our right, there are straight lines. So you can see a straight line, the wall is straight. 
And the whole concept behind the room is basically the whole property is actually inspired by Dubai. Dubai as a whole, as a city. The curves represent the sand dunes, the waves of Dubai, and the straight lines represent the construction, the city life of Dubai. How mind-blowing is that? Gorgeous, gorgeous room. Okay guys, so a few other things cool about this room is that this, we've got a curved LED TV embedded into the wall. Absolutely amazing, right opposite the bed. And on our left, we have some nice Arabic lyrics to a song which the designer was inspired by his favorite musician. So that is super cool. I can't read Arabic. So if you guys can read Arabic, tell me what it says. Uh, but yeah, guys, I just love the aesthetics of this room. It's, it feels like home and that's a very good sign so far. Guys, it is a vibe. Me and Rise were absolutely famished. So we're just chilling at the wet deck at the W Dubai and take a look at what we've got. We've got burgers, we've got a tuna salad, and I am hungry, so I am just gonna dig in. Oh yeah. So good, oh my God. This place is so beautiful, guys. Listening to the nice music, it's located by the pool. Good vibes, good food. Let's do this. Currently back in the room, just got up after a nice, wonderful bite from the wet deck. They're spoiling us with some nice treats. I just walked into this. The service at the W has been impeccable so far. But right now, guys, it's time for me to go get a massage. But I can't get a massage like this, so let's do this. Yes, guys, in a bathrobe. Time to get a massage. My body is aching. I'm gonna be getting a deep tissue massage. Let's go check out how beautiful the spa is. Let's do this. All right, guys, so I'm just about to enter the spa. It's called Away. And Away is actually owned by the W itself. It's not a third-party spa. I'm super excited to get my deep tissue massage. So let's go. Okay guys, so right now I am in the massage room. I'm gonna get my therapy done from Mr. Miami today. And yeah guys, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna let you know how it was. Enjoy. How does one identify whether their massage was good or not? I'll tell you. If you fall asleep while someone's giving you a massage, that means the massage was good. And best believe, I knocked out. Guys, Miami knew exactly what he was doing. I feel so relieved. And genuinely, I feel like a brand new person. My legs feel like I can run a marathon right now. Um, another thing I want to mention is that when it usually comes to massage beds, they're usually very compact and slightly hard. But guys, the beds over here at Away, the spa, the beds were actually pretty huge. The massage bed was actually pretty huge. Comfortable because it was super soft. I mean, the cushion, it, it was as good as the bed. It was phenomenal. My experience, my experience is literally a 10-10 and I'm not even exaggerating. Okay guys, fast forward. It is night time. We are about to head to Akira Back, one of the six restaurants I mentioned, to have some dinner. The cuisine is Japanese and Korean. I'm already hungry. I eat 24 seven. Let's see how good the food is. I'm craving some sushi. Let's do this. Okay guys, so I've just met up with my friend Joe. He's actually from the marketing team from the W and he knows what we're doing. So thank you for that. <laughs> no worries. Uh, we're just about to go inside for dinner at the Akira Back. Can you tell me more information about this place? Yeah, so we're going to Akira Back. It's by Chef Akira Back. Uh, it's a fine dining Japanese slash Korean fusion. That's um, why I'm wearing the suit, guys. <laughs> and got, right behind you is the Vortex, and this is his signature in every restaurant, which is meant to suck you into the restaurant. And we're gonna have some good sushi Yeah, tonight. man, for sure. <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys, so we just got sat down at the Akira back. We've got a brilliant table, a phenomenal view. We've got the views of the marina. Very nice and very stunning. Also, the chef recommended us a few signature dishes, which we obviously had to order. So I can't wait to grub on them tonight. Okay guys, so we've been already killing it with a couple of appetizers. Right now we've got sent another signature dish. Take a look at this. We've got the AB tacos, which is basically Wagyu beef and a jalapeno on top. It looks so appetizing. And then over here we've got some foam, which I'm not sure exactly what is, but this is basically a black cod, and I really want to try how it is, so let's take a look. I'm gonna grab a piece here. Whoa, let's go. 
wow. That is so flavorful and the cod was so soft. Hands down one of the most softest cod I've ever had. Impeccable. All right guys, so we are on our second last meal and we've got lamb chops, also one of my personal favorites. And let's find out how, oh God, guys, it is so soft. Wow, take a look at that. Wow. All right guys, so we are finally on our last dish and it's rather something special because we have a 48 hour beef wagyu. Now what is a beef wagyu, you may ask? It is a Japanese cow and let's just find out how tasty this is. So I'm gonna just dig right into it. Oh my God, it is so juicy and tender. Take a look at how the meat is cooked and I'm gonna take a big bite. Guys, the meat melted in my mouth. Wow. Woo. Okay guys, so we are ending our fine dining experience at Akira Back by sitting outdoor, listening to some good music, and obviously, dessert. We've got uh, butter mochi cake over here. We've got chocolate and a cup. I'm really tempted to just like destroy it here. Oh God, look at that. I am big on chocolate. And my friend Joe over here literally got the same thing. The butter, uh, the butter mochi cake. So yeah guys, we're just gonna be enjoying right now, get some green tea, digest our food, and take the night a little easy. Okay guys, so we just got done with our meal and I'm just admiring the view the rooftop has to offer. Guys, take a look. We're looking at the whole of Marina. On our left, we can see the Burj Al Arab and the Burj Khalifa. And we can take a lovely view of the swimming pool as well, which I want to speak to you guys about actually, guys. The swimming pool, as you guys can see, is actually inspired by the sand dunes of Dubai. Therefore, you can see the waves and that's exactly why it's shaped like that. How cool is that? Literally everything built in this hotel has a story. Mind blowing. Okay guys, so it is about 11 p.m. and I'm absolutely knackered. I'm on my bed because I can't wait to fall asleep. I quickly just want to review Akira back because the restaurant was a fine dining place. The service, the food, the ambiance, the view, they all were literally a 10-10. Their hospitality was just on another level. And guys, tomorrow we're gonna start our day with an early breakfast and potentially we might be able to see the WOW Suite which is worth 40,000 dirhams a night. So guys, stay tuned. See you next morning.